Welcome back. Cooking for Change is a project initiated by much love Kiwi artist Dick Frizzell, who wanted to create the ultimate Kiwi celebrity cookbook with all profits going to charities. Why did he want to do that? Well, we are going to find out because we are lucky to have him with us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Frizzell. Yeah. Hey, Dick, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio. A, I want to know, yeah, do you like that welcome? We, do, we don't do I'm that for everyone. Well, <laughs> Not everybody gets the hand clap, do they? No, 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 save them for special people. Only the special yeah. people. You've got this incredible book, Cooking for Change, which I've had a flick through. Absolutely amazing mm. looking recipes in it. So 101 oh, Kiwi celebrities have put mm. their recipes in. So you're sitting on Ponsonby Road in a cafe. You've decided that you're doing this book and you've got to go about getting 101 celebrities. So what happens then? Uh, two of them walk past. <laughs> <laughs> well, this be right, isn't it? Seriously. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, Anika Mower and Dave Dobbin went strolling past, and I was already sitting there talking to Roger Donaldson, the, the d film director, who's an old mate of mine, and, um, and Hamish Keith came up. And uh, so there we had potentially four, because we stopped, and Anika was totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, Christian, my business partner, you know, in this thing, because it was his idea. I mean, I just paint. I don't think these things up. <laughs> and um, he said, he said, look behind the Hillary Barry sitting behind you having breakfast. And I thought, oh, no. And he said, go in and just. He said, Christian's big line is, if you don't ask, you don't get. And uh, which is quite exactly why that book exists. And uh, he said, well, I'll go. And I said, no, 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 I'll go. And I stood there and I, I said to her, I was standing up and she was sitting down with a friend having breakfast for God's sake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and chatting away. And I said, oh, standing there like a big dork. And I said, <laughs> uh, oh, um, Hilary, I'm Dick Frizzell. And she said, oh, yeah, I know who you are. And I thought, oh, well, I suppose that, that, that's going to help. Start. <laughs> and I said, I mumbled, I mumbled something about this book. And she just said, oh, sounds great. You know, bang. And then she came back to us and suggested the Leukaemia Foundation as our fourth uh, charity. And... She got totally into it. And then I thought, wow, maybe this is possible, you know. Yeah. That was five people and uh, five minutes, you know what I mean. Well, yeah. look, I just want to say if Dick Frizzell mm -hmm. comes to you and says, can you be part of my book, I would say yes, pretty mm -hmm. fast. So you have no issues there. But I was just curious, you know, because you're a brilliant artist, why on earth did you want to do a cookbook? Uh, well, I've, I've been involved in publishing a lot, obviously, mm. over the years. And, the, uh, and I also worked with Murray Tom on his great New Zealand cookbook of course. Yeah. I did the cover for that and I got quite uh, involved with that and then the follow-up book, they used my font and so you know, it was kind of there. Right. And, when, and Christian, who'd already earlier I mean, he's an entrepreneur in general and he, he had this, I, this dream project of the celebrity cookbook and all of a sudden just everything was right, you know what I mean? The zeitgeist or whatever you want to call so, it. So are you yeah. as passionate about food as you are art? Or was it about the project as a whole? Uh, it was definitely the project as a whole was a, right. the challenge to... I mean, it became an immense challenge, get, tracking these people. I mean, after the first five, it just turned to custard, you know. <laughs> well, there's 101 celebrities. There's I know, tell there. me about it. And still no Dave Dobbin. <laughs> yeah, what, what I uh, want to know about it, yeah. though, is that when you, you've got people in there, I mean, obviously there's a certain amount of people that will probably have similar recipes. I mean, did you have any arguments? Did people want the, uh, the same we thing had, in? Uh, we had a problem with the Samoans. <laughs> <laughs> really? Joseph well, Parker. they all wanted to do the, you know, the, the chop suey. No, no, there, there was a bit of um, I see Joseph diplomatic. Got that. Yeah. You know, we, 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 there, we had a few too many risottos and a bit too much pulled pork, but no, we just we <laughs> we we spread it out. Everyone was fantastic about it. I mean, we approached them and said, um, I remember Otis had, I mean, my son had a risotto, and and then somebody else had a risotto, and I said to Otis, well, obviously I came from his father, yes. and I said, and he, him, and um, Sarah came up with that prawn, which is actually better. It photographed beautifully. So we did. We had to go back. I mean, by then we were in contact with everybody. It wasn't like I had to start from scratch yeah. each time, and. They, and they would say, yeah, sure, and they had a second choice, you know. You know what I really love? I like Michael Hill has got a special little kale, a special little turmeric health kick, a little turmeric drink that he drinks in the morning. That's that's right. back He's still morbid. cranking. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you must be immensely proud of the reaction, though, Dick. I mean, just to sum it up, are you pleased with everything, the oh, way it's I'm, been embraced? I'm, um, yeah, I'm completely overwhelmed, mm. to be honest. I mean, it's the most... Uh, you know, it's sort of out of my wheelhouse a bit, you know, stepping out into this 
an area like this, and, and I'm not very good at ringing the, you know, I hate ringing up actually, but the, I got better at it, I must say, you know, approaching these people and the, and the, and the feet and the quality of the book. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. You know, I mean, it, it's I love beautiful. it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, love it's, it. it stands alone as a the really great court cool book yeah. and a celebrity little slice of New Zealand as well. Yeah. Dick, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Uh, thank you so much. And you're going to stay around too, finish I off am. your tangine yeah. with us. Uh, it looks really, really yummy actually. It smell, it's smelling really good. Now, if you want to get a hold of this recipe and many more, the Cooking for Change book is available now online and in good bookstores as well. With profits going to charities.